Okay, good morning. Uh, hi, everyone. Mary, I'm standing in for Mary today. Um, hope everyone is doing well in terms of announcements. I don't think there's anything in particular uh, from anyone on the team. Any announcements that need to be made? Anyone on the tutoring team? Any announcements? Careers team? Uh, from my side, I think there's... So I'm... So the computing instances should be... Should have been ready yesterday. They weren't, unfortunately. But they are ready almost now. But uh, what is missing, I see that I don't know where the submissions of the keys are. Right? So Abdullah probably you need to organize. But the number of submissions, the number of keys that are submitted are very small, and I couldn't collect them. So we probably need to just basically, you know, you need to either send me or like in per group at least one person has to be there so that I can make one person an admin so that they can add other people. But at least we need one from each group and that would be responsible so maybe what we will do is that just after this uh, after the stand-up we we can stay and then at least everyone one person at least in the team is connected um so just that's that's what i'll announce okay i think there's a google classroom uh assignment for the ssh key so i don't know if that's but that's present. the number of the submissions are i think uh, very very small okay so in terms of announcement, then uh, at least one person from each group, please stay on the stand up uh, afterwards so that we can uh, make sure every every team has access um, to the GPUs or the computing platform. Yeah, Vanessa, no. could you could you mute? Yeah. Do you have a question? OK, uh, any other announcements, uh, training ops, careers? No quick announcement from my side. Okay. So we'll have we'll have a goodbye at the end of the stand up. Uh, we're going to be saying goodbye to Celine. Um, so we'll follow the usual sort of goodbye process. We have less than half of the group here, so I'm not sure exactly where everyone else is. I think the team is outnumbering. I think we have almost as many team members as trainees, so that's slightly confusing. Um, let's keep in mind it's now the second of June. In two months. Um, people are going to start applying for jobs, and in, we expect that interviews will start uh, coming through soon afterwards. Um, we're not really, this is not school, this is more of a training program. And so if you, training program for work. Um, as an employer, if you show up five minutes late to a team stand-up, and the team stand-up is only 10 or 15 minutes, you're not, you're not doing yourself any favors. We recognize everyone is tired, but um, this the reason that we're here is that everyone practices getting ready for the work environment. And we don't just want you, we're not a coding boot camp. We don't want you just to know how to code. We want you guys to be transformative leaders. And we, everyone who's made it this far has that opportunity within them. Um, Yevagal and I had a long discussion over coffee and chocolate yesterday, which was always nice. Um, about one of the differences, one of the simplest differences, and I'm just talking now, one of the simplest differences between people who are very productive and people who are sometimes productive is a small amount of discipline that people have organized their lives so that they are available in a regular way for work. Uh, for the majority of people on this call, it's 11 in the morning. So if you aren't able to make an 11, 11 in the morning call, you need to change something so that you're able to be there on time, ready, ready to make your contribution. So normally we should have everyone on the call. A couple of people, maybe their connection isn't behaving, that's fine. To be less than half is, is very unusual. So um, I'd love to know what's, uh, what's going on and why that isn't working, but let's jump into the standard. And so anyone can write, I'm happy to chat with people on Slack. If anyone wants, we can have a, an open Google Meet about that, but I'd love to understand what's preventing people from showing up. And if it's that the stand-up is not useful, let's keep in mind that we've created a structure. And the reason the structure is there is that when you get to the world of work, there are also things that maybe you don't find are super useful, but you're working. You're not just in school. And so you still need to be there. And you'll be surprised that if once you start following that structure, maybe not in the immediate term, but definitely in the short and medium term, it will be more useful for you. Um, because sometimes in a stand-up, one of your colleagues, one of your managers says, look, I don't know how to do A, B, or C, I'm a bit stuck. If you weren't there at the meeting or you showed up late, 
you're not ready to jump in and say, you know what, I can do that. So let's jump in with group one and just hear um, what was done yesterday, what's planned for today, and any blockers. So group one is uh, led by Remet. Good morning. Good morning. So we, yesterday we tried to finalize the, our interim submission. We're also making the course with Dan Modular. We still haven't finished that, but uh, we managed to submit the submission on time. Uh, today, we have a meeting after this stand up to discuss our next step. We almost finished task one, so we're going to talk about the ta task two and task three. We decided to um, divide task two and ta task three for two different groups so we can manage to do all of them together instead of just waiting for task two to end and go back to task three. So anyway, we just we will figure that out after this stand up meeting. Are you on schedule? Do you feel like you're on schedule? Yes, we feel like we are on schedule. For yes, we do. Yes, we have excellent. Okay. Any blockers? Uh, not yet. Just uh, no. Not big bloggers, just simple bloggers. We managed to fix it with our, within ourselves. So. Okay. Does anyone else from group one want to add to what Remet contributed to Yedidia, Ken, Samuel, Salam, Odafemi, Victor, uh, Malaku, Tewodros, Renardos? Malaku, go ahead. Okay, yeah, good morning. So, good morning. Uh, uh, I think we have on schedule. Uh, yesterday we finalized our code and try to modularize. Uh, we on Monday we worked on notebooks, so our code wasn't uh, really great. So we had to modularize it uh, yesterday. So we finalized it uh, yesterday before the submission. So regarding to blockers, some of our members were were having power interruption issue. Like uh, Yididia was having power interruption, and uh, we tried to cover for him. And yeah, that's a uh, that's a blocker we encountered. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Anyone else from Group One that wants to make a contribution? Group One probably should name themselves something. I'm sure there's a better name out there than Group One, but that's up to you guys. Anyone else from group one? Otherwise, we'll move on to group two, represented by Hewan. Is Hewan here? Not seeing Hewan. Um, so why don't we wait and we'll go to, straight to group three. Is Denite here? Yeah, Denite. How's group three? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, so we yesterday we tried we tried to finalize our interim submission. We tried to modularize the task one as well. And uh, for this morning we had another meeting with the team. We were we discussed how we've been doing so far, and uh, on how to approach for the next uh, task two submission and. We decided to first understand what is expected from us in the task two, and we would try to distribute the tasks afternoon, this afternoon. One, could you could you go one level deeper? So you're you're that's a good project management overview. What did you actually do? So when you talked about task one, you said we tried to finalize. Did you actually manage to finish it? Yes, we we finished and submitted it yesterday. Okay. And so if let's let's assume people don't know what task one and task two is can you give us a quick overview of what you actually did yesterday and what you're going to work on today uh yesterday was to do to do the uh, data visualization and everything it was not over yet so we had to modularize it as well mm -hmm. before the submission so we we did that and for the task two we 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 discussed to understand what we have to do first and then after that we will distribute the tasks and what is task two task two is uh, our module model okay so building a model 
Yeah. Okay. Now, I mean, the reason I'm asking is it's just, it's just good to practice speaking it out, right? We have, we're now getting towards, we're about halfway. So it's good to practice speaking in more detail. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyone else from group two that wants to make a contribution? Group three, I'm sorry, it's group three. So we have Martin, Rafa, Kevin, Dagmawi, Margaret, Enderwerk, Didier, Baruch, and Amal. Uh, Abel, go ahead. Uh, that's that's okay. group two. So let's, let's, why don't we yeah, finish with group three, and then we'll come back to group two. Okay, okay. Anyone else from group three that wants to make a contribution? Some members have uh, told me in the meeting in the morning they couldn't make it to this stand up. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> this is the world's most serious stand up. People are very um, serious. Okay. Um, group two. Uh, hey, one. Mm, sorry, Aaron. Yeah. Uh, Danite is in group four. Group three is. Oh my God. Um, I, I got that totally wrong. Uh, yeah, okay, that was group four. Thank you for pointing that out. I, okay, group four. Anyone who else from group four? Faith, Jonas, Die, Daisy, Gezahin, Hikma, or Aman? Sorry. So thank you, Eden, for pointing that out because obviously I'm making a silly mistake. So for everyone who didn't point that out, um, you should have. Because I just got that wrong. Anyone from group four? To me, I should have pointed that out. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's fine. But this is this is where we have to get. This is the soft side of the work, right? The everyone makes mistakes. I, I just made a, a, a silly mistake. No problem in pointing. It. It's like you forgot to unmute. Okay. Yeah. I think you're unmuted, and there's a there's a party going on. Um, group four. Anyone else from group four? Uh, Faith, Jonas, Die, Daisy, Gizahen, Hikma, or Amon? Anyone who wants to make a contribution? Otherwise, we'll go to group two, uh, Heiwan, and then we'll go to group three, which is Eden. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay. Sorry for joining late. Um, okay. Sorry. So uh, to to report on our on our progress on the interim submission, we managed to to do the the work um, uh, separately. I mean, dividing tasks and uh, try to come up with a new notebook, collecting all the things we have done. Uh, and for the reports, we try to look uh, on the things that we that that were requested and try to write the report and submit. Um, so about uh, about the meeting, we had. Uh, hey, one. Can I just ask you a question? Okay. So in in terms of your reporting, just just your update, it sounds like um, you tried to you tried to do this and you tried to do this. It's not clear to me if you actually did it. Did you do it or did you not do it? Did did what? I mean, um, you said the... we tried. We tried to finalize our report. We tried to finalize our internal oh, submission. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. I I mean, I think most of the the group members, as we had a meeting, said they they managed to to submit the report on time, mm -hmm. uh, and um, and also the the GitHub link. Mm -hmm. So I, I would just encourage when, you, when you're when you providing a report to your team, okay. it's not showing off to say, I, I finished this. Okay. So okay. I think speaking very clearly and saying, our group finished tasks A, B, C, and described them in some detail, and we're still okay. working on tasks one, two, three. But I think speaking clearly or not having this passive voice is also useful. There's no, there's no problem in just saying this is what we finished. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, as for um, blockers, uh, we have been uh, dealing with issues with um, uh, modeling parts. Uh, we, we were not able to understand it fully. Uh, some group members 
tried to ask it uh, uh, on yesterday's stand up and also the tutorial part. Mm -hmm. So we've been we've been figuring it out. Uh, that took us uh, a time. It was a blocker for us. Um, Where does that stand now? How far along in that understanding are you? Uh, we still had an issue on it. We've done some some parts of it, but it's not completed yet. I mean, it has issues. Okay. I mean, so I haven't seen many messages on the week four Slack, but it would be that would also be a place to ask questions. Oh, uh, we were asking on the tutorial session and also the stand up. That's why. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the challenge with the tutorial session is it's not as available to the entire group. So don't hesitate to ask more than once. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And also, we um, uh, the tutor. I mean, the tutors um, that was uh, assigned to us uh, are in our group in Desmond. We also asked, tried to ask him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, so I think ask, asking specific people is good, but sometimes ask, trying to benefit from the overall knowledge of the cohort mm -hmm. is useful. So okay. don't hesitate uh, to ask rather twice instead of just asking once. Okay. So. Okay. No, go ahead. Please finish. Uh, okay, I, I I want to 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 tell you that we we uh, I I actually as a spokesperson for the for my group, I reported to Everest uh, about the the messages that we have on on our channel. It was requested by Yapovo yesterday. I wanted to. Wait, that's, that's, Thanks, 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 Ewen. Uh, so uh, just Arun for update. Yeah, we we wanted for each of the spokespeople in the in the group to tell us basically just activities in, in total, just just that will measure and including the number of me Google Meets that they have and um, also just the volume mm -hmm. of uh, activities so that we would be able to see um, like you know if this is just a, a good metric to follow up on. Great. Super. Any Anyone else from group two that wants to make a contribution? Henok, Stella, Tesfai, Samrawit, Tadesi, Nahom, Titus, Titus, and Abur Abel? Henok? Oh, hi, Aaron. Uh, hi, hi, everyone. So, it's, as she said, like, uh, the only blocker we were having was first trying to understand why the acoustic modeling parts was given as a as a pre-processing section and then when we looked for resources all that all of the things that we found pointed uh, that it's actually the like the entire project the uh, automatic speech recognition uh, field it's sometimes called like that like acoustic modeling so we were a bit confused by that and then on that here we got some partial answers but yeah that's uh, the blockers we were having in terms of the submission i personally have submitted on time and I think everyone uh, has done that as well we had a meeting uh, an hour before now yeah that's where we stand and we plan to have uh, we plan to have some baseline module by tonight, and then uh, once we have that in place, we can continue working on the uh, interface for the system, like the button, the front end, with we'll those tasks like that, and then some parts of the team will continue uh, working on the module. Okay, Abel, you wanted to go as well, Abel. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Mm, as uh, Hewan and uh, Henok mentions, uh, uh, they mentions everything, but I want to add, uh, we all meet an hour before this stand up and uh, we are all on schedule. Uh, we, we talked about accepting a pull request of last day's task and someone given a task and also someone given a task to modularize every person's code and uh, every one of us are collaborating and uh, uh, everyone submitted the last day's task so the, that's what we have 
Excellent. Thank you. Uh, group five. So if Celine is no longer there, I think we have to nominate a new group leader. Would somebody from group five uh, volunteer? We have Binyam. Go ahead. Okay, can you hear me? Very well, yeah. All right. Uh, good morning, Arun and everyone. So uh, to give you an update on our progress, uh, yesterday was uh, quite uh, challenging for us because uh, we had a few blockers. Uh, from the technical side, uh, uh, we are having a difficult time uh, using the sound file library. It takes a lot of time to process uh, audio samples. Uh, uh, so we couldn't find uh, a suitable replacement. Uh, of course, uh, uh, for some occasions we used the Wave library, but uh, in order to utilize the uh, functionality of Libra Librosa, uh, we needed to uh, keep keep using the sound li file. Later on, we decided to just minimize the sample size so we can quickly develop uh, the codes we needed to. We need it for the submission. Uh, so, and add the entire data set later on. But uh, we were, that took us a lot of time to adjust. Uh, regarding uh, another blocker we are we are having is a compatibility issue, since uh, uh, the code is being developed uh, by different uh, individuals. Uh, the, and the, the inputs for one of the functions might be dependent on the output of another one and uh, uh, there was some compatibility issue uh, so we needed to sort that out as well so we, we stayed up really late to, tonight uh, last night to adjust uh, some of the issues uh, and we tried to make up uh, the, for the lost time we managed to uh, get back on track but i i believe we're a bit behind the schedule uh, other than that uh, I'm quite thankful for my teammates and their efforts. Uh, most of them are working uh, their ass off and uh, giving all their uh, uh, efforts. So thank you for that. Uh, I'm uh, really privileged to be part of this team. Uh, uh, so and uh, to add something, uh, we're sorry to lose Hirwa. She was our uh, one of our team members. Uh, uh, maybe later on uh, I may add some more words on that. So thank you, Arun and uh, guys. Martin, you want, thank you, Vinyam. Martin, you wanted to make a contribution. It wouldn't be a stand up, Martin, if you didn't speak. So I think we have to make sure you speak at least uh, once per yeah, stand up. Uh, yeah, I've gotten what you've said over there, but uh, I just want to give my updates and uh, for my for my team, on, my, uh, on behalf of the team, uh, I had uh, some bit of challenges with power outage uh, today in the morning, so that's why I've gotten into the stand up a bit late. Uh, but, um, there are many things that uh, we got to learn uh, yesterday. Uh, we completed our modeling, and uh, we realized that there is also uh, the same issue that uh, Binyam was speaking about. Uh, we also had the same challenge where uh, it can load uh, forever. So what, what we did for us on our side is uh, we just uh, were doing some bit of data control. So we start with just a little bit of data, then we continue scaling up uh, as we continue. Uh, for the modeling, uh, we realized that the best level Able to use for uh, that particular for that particular one was Keras, uh, the resistance of flow. Uh, of course, it's a new spy touch, but uh, Keras was coming in quite. Uh, it, it, it's quite more. It's more comfortable using it as compared to the other libraries as we had tried them. Out. Out. Uh, also, another thing. Is, uh, when working in things, when working. Is something that has, uh, needs to be really put clear. Is it only me or can you hear Martin? It's breaking. I can only hear five percent. No, Martin, I think we, we can't hear. So maybe just. Yeah, Martin, maybe you can type your update. Yeah, I guess the speech to text would be kind of. A garbled bunch. 
So I just wanted to make one last uh, point before I'm sure Yabo has something to add, and then I think Everest will do the goodbye. I don't know if Hira was online. I don't see her name there, but I might be missing her. Um, so why are we doing this and why are we doing it in groups and how does this relate? So let's remember why are we here? We want everyone to get ready for the world of work. You're working in groups and one of the nice things about working in groups is that you have different points of expertise from different people. What's really important um, is that you should be able to explain what your group did and learn from your group even if you didn't write every line of code by yourself. So if you do, if you're just sitting back and saying you know what the group is staying up late and they're working but you're not investing the effort um, to understand exactly what was going on or not asking questions how did you do this why did you do this you're missing a golden opportunity the entire training is organized so that you can learn and you'll have a code base and projects that you can demonstrate to employers during interviews and this actually happens you're working in groups. Now for anyone who says, you know what, I, they're doing the work, all I want is the grade. I get the same grade as everyone else, good. You can enjoy that, you can take whatever progress you make in your leaderboard, but you're missing the big opportunity. And the big opportunity is to talk with your colleagues and to ask, how did you do this? Why did you do this? Tell me how you did this. And while you're making a contribution, you should be working with every single other person in your group and in other groups to learn as much as you can. Because when it comes time for you to showcase your project, people will be looking through your GitHubs, not always, but often. When you get to an interview, you want to be able to showcase, this is what my group did, and that you can explain exactly how you did ABC, and more importantly, why did you do ABC? So I just wanted to emphasize this. Group work is good. It's useful because you divide, you divide and conquer. It's also how work gets done in the real world. But in this uh, next, two months and especially for the next uh, seven or eight days, I would encourage that every single person really must understand what the entire group did. And they don't have to be able to reproduce it by themselves, but they need to be able to explain it on an interview to an employer and to say, this is what our group did, but this is what we did, this is why we did, and this is how we did it. So maybe I'll just ask if there's any one or two questions on that and then uh, I'm done. Aiden? I'm sorry. Um, you skipped our group, which was group three, and Martina. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. It's okay. okay. It's, it's not my day. Aiden, please go ahead. I thought okay. I did in group three. Sorry. Uh, but Martin said most of the things, but I wanted to continue from what. We could, I don't think we could hear Martin very well, so please go ahead. Okay. Um, yesterday, our group managed to finish most of the tasks related with the modeling part and all of us submitted our interim submissions which was a code for the pre-processing along with the report uh, as a group we do not have any blockers so far everyone is collaborating and helping each other out when some concepts are unclear and for today we're planning to meet up after this stand up and finalize the modeling and deploy our api by setting up the database and the backend um, I also submitted our group project status to Everest, as Yabagol said yesterday. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks, Edna. Sorry for uh, missing you. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Any other questions, comments? Otherwise, I'll head over to you. So let's go over to Yabagol, and then Everest will do the goodbye for Sydney. Yeah, I, th I think from my side, just mostly it would be making sure that by, let's say, um, 1 p.m. UTC that everyone, every group has their access. I think that would be the main priority we will have. And, and of course, just um, synchronizing with um, Everest to know like how the activities are and what they mean, uh, especially also with respect to the submissions, we want to look at them. Um, and give feedback. And then I think another one is that I, yesterday, I'm not sure, like I think it was Tesfai who had on acoustic model. I think, you know, it's just uh, now Henok has been mentioning, you know, it's, of course, it's it's very compli complex, like one can go into detail into the scientific literature, but this is the general picture. Hopefully people have got at least already what you got Henok is uh, exactly it, right? It's, you know, you're trying to do um, the whole thing the whole project and even can go deeper 
is around that. But as long as you understand the basic principles that you have, you know, this acoustic model and the language model, and then you combine them to, to get something. And if you have understood that, even if you don't understand the very detail, you know, of the models, then it's fine. But if there are still questions, if there hasn't been, like especially in the test phase group, if there has been still misunderstanding, we can definitely go through. I think I am I linked one now uh, reference to the Google document, uh, so you can check it as an acoustic model. I will add more references, which I think will be much more highlighting. Um, so we can we can I think yeah. It's just unfortunately I usually don't have the the time to to make um, um, kind of a session. But I will try if there is a request and I definitely, and if that is kind of going to help, definitely we'll try. Um, so let uh, either the tutors or Everest know um, that, and then we can, we can arrange a quick session on that. So I think the other really most important part for today, you have to not pass today without being able to log in into the um, uh, machine, like the AWS machine. and exploring the feature so what we will have per group is that you will have 16 um cores in terms of cpu and you will have um 64 gigabyte in terms of ram and then you will have one gpu with a 24 gigabyte um ram so which is really good good enough uh, for you know all of the details so you might not all of you nine of you at the same time running deep learning might not be possible but you you would see like because you're in one group i think by connecting so there will be also a jupyter hub uh, there so you will be able to connect directly to work on that using your jupyter notebook and each of you will have your own login to the same machine so it's kind of there's not going to be any conflict so the I think we will talk about that. I think it's going to be at least I want what I want is one person representative from you can choose one person to be representative and I can work on them in terms of I think providing them what is like the administration that is required, especially like uh, installing some packages. You know, if, if you have issue in that, if you want to try it in Docker, I think Docker is enabled as well. But it's that kind of information that sometimes you don't want to be um, you, know, you don't want to be waiting. So I would work with basically five people, one from each group, um, and and just kind of make sure that they have understood at least the basic principles that they can fix something. And I would also make them an admin in the uh, in the node so that if there's a root access, they will be able to do something so that you don't have to wait me or anyone else. So I think that that would be like the priority. And know that given that we can't run the entire day, the, the whole thing while you were sleeping, for example, you know, while you're sleeping, uh, the machine would, would really cost us a lot. So what we will do is that we will try to find a time slot, mostly probably after the stand-up, um, uh, during the stand-up, we'll switch it on, or maybe like one hour before the stand-up, depending on your choice. If you are always meeting uh, a few hours before the stand-up, you can tell me at which um, time. It could be 8, uh, 8 UTC or 7 UTC. Uh, 7 a.m. UTC, and then it will also be until midnight, let's say, of UTC, so that we can switch off um, the, the node after that. But just that's to save uh, money because that, that's a very expensive node that we are um, we're commissioning. So I think with that also, I will talk with the um, uh, representatives of each group. So yeah, you can, you can talk to you among yourselves who is kind of more likely to be a good um, admin. So just choose that and then um, ping me once that's the case. Okay, I think that's from my side. Arun, you are mute. Thank you. It's really not my day today uh, for a Google Meet. Um, is Celine here? Hey, Arun. Um, Celine is not able to join because uh, she has another physical meeting with the team. Okay. Yeah, she's doing the internship, but she will send a, a message on the Slack. That will suffice. Okay. Binyam, do you want to go ahead and I think you had prepared some remarks. Do you want to just uh, share them briefly for the group and then we can wrap up? Binyam, do you want to or would you prefer to type yeah. them in? Yeah. Okay, I'm here, Arun. 
so it would have been better if she was here. So, but uh, I can I can say a few words for uh, uh, regarding her uh, living. So um, all right, uh, here why and uh, I haven't gotten a lot of chance to, to get to know each other very well. Uh, but from the limited time we have together working on the last group work, I can say that Hirwa is a friendly person, uh, is a little bit shy, but easy to work with. Uh, I've, no, I've been noticing that Hirwa was having a hard time keeping up with the tasks uh, from the Pinakaran challenges uh, because she was dealing with some other personal business uh, on the side. Uh, uh, we as a teammate, of course, were doing our best to provide our support, but uh, I now know that she has she has gotten an, an, another opportunity, internship opportunity, and uh, she's unable to continue the program. But uh, the fact that you, she tried to stay in the program for as long as she did shows me that, shows me her strength. Uh, so I admire, I admire her for that. So on behalf of my team, I just want to wish her the best and let her know that uh, we are sorry to lose her as a team member. But uh, good luck out there, Hirwa. Uh, Maybe if she listens to the recording later on. I just want to say good luck out there, Hirwa, and please keep in touch, even though we're not strictly speaking uh, teammates anymore. Thank you. Okay, thanks, thanks everyone. Have a uh, lovely day. And I think, Yevabel, you want people to stay on, one from each group, is that right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm not sure, like, so, okay, let, let's stay, let's the recording stop. Um, and then we can discuss just what is the right way. Okay, I'm gonna have to log out and log back in to get the recording to stop. I'll do that. I don't see.